So for today's manifestation moment, we are going to blast through a bunch of I words, first of all, <laughs> but more specifically, go through some aspects of inspiration, embodiment, and manifestation. So let's start with inspiration. So we have here a excerpt from a page from the Rise Code, the quantum diamond, or the domain of God. And you can see this is where awakening beings live from. You'll see some great words here. Imagination, intuition, intentional manifestation. Very powerful things. But what is the north? What is the north star? Inspiration. So we want to become inspired in life. Now we can do this internally. We can inspire ourselves. We can use our spiritual will to feel and what? Imagine the life we wish to live. Imagine the journey that we will go on and intentionally manifest into it along the way. We talk about that in various other segments, but it comes from inspiration. So you have the inside being inspired, which is your practices, your ability to get to your organic, eternal, infinite possibility and potential self. And then you have the external of inspiration. People and things inspire you. The field and its biofeedback inspires you by who you put yourself around and where you put your attention. So that graph is important because it really shows us the north is the inspiration. Why is it beyond imagination? Why is it beyond even intuition? Because it's the unknown and it's connected to the field of all. Imagine that you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the cosmos and you stream, you stream versus store, right? You're not recalling constantly coming from that place of the past. You're coming from the now, the quantum of all, and all can inspire you. All can bring you up the scale of vibration and up the scale of your destiny timeline. So become inspired. That really is the key. And we're going to be talking about some of that at the I Am Limitless event, the importance of inspiration in our life and to be an inspiration to others. Really remember that. That's your North Star. You can only imagine what you know of before. Inspiration takes you beyond that. And it's a feeling, right? It's a feeling. So next, we have embodiment. And it's so important for us all to remember that we cannot manifest what we have not become inside already. We don't manifest what we want. We manifest who we are being, what we are vibrating, okay, what we are radiating from the inside out. So you plant the seeds inside of yourself. You water, you give sunlight to the seeds inside of you. These are the destination points, the destiny points that we want to be in conscious intention of to manifest, but we have to be it ourselves first, right? So, so important that we realize <laughs> we're never going to manifest what we want. You will never have it. You just want it forever. You have to feel like you already have it. And you have two choices here. One is you program yourself over time to completely become it, right? Yes, that's consistency. Oh, I have a new belief. I have a new commitment. I have a new alignment. The other one is just in a segment of time. So the magic. One of my segments will be bringing people to the magic of the moment and allowing you to create very quick. Your human will can transcend everything. It can transcend astrology, can transcend karma, can transcend the matrix, can transcend it all. So if you can generate sufficient amount of energy towards an intent and vibrate enough, you can manifest amazing things even if you haven't completely uh, become it for the long term. So that's another form of magic that we need to realize. Wow, in one hour, I can change my life? you damn right you can. You can change your life in an hour. 
And you still may fall back a little after, but you already put it out there. So that's just what I want to say is you can embody manifestation in one segment of time, one magical moment. And then at the same time, we want to become it over time. And you don't just intend, right? Like we were sp speaking to earlier. You intend, you vibrate, then what? You act as if, and you live it to the fullest. You are it, right? And so that leads us into the third part here of manifestation, you know. So I'm, be I'm inspired for my next level of journey. I'm embodying who I am and where I'm going. And then I want to do what? Take action. First of all, I'm going to go back to this. The most important action is your vibration. It is your intention. So... The vortex or the, you know, apex of a little 369 triangle. Intention is still your prime action. It is. But from there, what are the two folk uh, base points? I heard Brittany mention them earlier. Inspired action, going back to that word, things that fuel you, you're passionate about it, you're excited, you're moving forward like a kid. Inspired action and intuitive action. Your, your connection to the field, to the quantum field, right? To the knowing of what's next, to the knowing of what to do. The cosmic kingdom is giving you the answer that you're sensing inside of your body. And so we need to listen to our intuition. So three little steps. Intention, then what? Inspired action, intuitive action. Not so much of the logic that is a virus. That is actually, the, your, in a sense, your artificial intelligence mind. That is the ego. That is the parasite. That is not even you. That is a software program. The logic, the how, the figuring it out, the rationalizing, the limitation of belief. No, we don't want to be there. Where we want to be is I'm feeling like it's already here. I know where it is I'm going. In other words, I know what it is I'm manifesting. I'm impregnating it from the inside out. I'm welcoming all of nature and all of the cosmos to help me. I'm taking inspired action and intuitive action, but I'm not trying to figure it out. I'm not projecting the path of how, because that is not what you're here to do. Even in the simulation itself, besides the creation of the kingdom, right? If we want to look at manifestation, this field of this simulation will only reflect back to you who you are and what you project. Okay. So it will build it for you. So as much as you intend and then take action, you have to allow and let it be built. You have to move on. Let it happen. It wants to build it for you. Nature wants to build it for you. Your job is just to remind yourself to align to it again. Continually align to your intentions. Continually take action to your intentions, but smart actions. But as of figuring it out and reaching, we got to stop doing that. We got to let the magic happen. Let it unfold. And then last, there's an extra enzyme. Greg will throw up a little image that you many of you have seen again. But aside from intu intuitional action, ins aside from inspired action, we need to recognize that we all have a unique blueprint. We all have a unique quantum code within the code of this experience, of this realm, of this simulation. And that code is predetermined. You chose it. No different than your body is what it is. You're white, you're black, you're Asian, you're male, you're female, you're short, you're tall, all these things. You are that. Yes, we are transcending the body. That is for <laughs> what we'll undergo as we traverse the next couple decades of existence. Many of you will ascend through and above the body, the meat body, the carbon into the crystalline light body. Having said that, though, while we're on that journey, this is the path, the manual that supports you in your ascension, and it supports you in living out your interface with the field. Let's remember this. We're watching a video, right? Right now. We think that's the technology. That's the, uh, you know, not, this is real. You know, your field is real, but this computer screen or this phone is is, you know, technology. You have to remember all of life is. That's what we're talking about, even with the simulation. 
right? Or the fact that you do not have a real body. You're just engaging with the perception of a body. This chart is the energy that forms the field. And you, it's like you have a headset on of your senses that's experiencing this reality. Okay, you have a headset on. That's what David Icke will talk about, right? And if you take the headset off of a game, a virtual game, you recognize that it's an illusion and there's nothing to be afraid of. That's where we want to be. We want to recognize this is all an illusion. I have a sensory-based experience that I view as real. Okay, but back to this. This is your ascension chart and this is your cosmic harmony and your quantum mechanics to your reality. So we're going to go through this at the I Am Limitless event. Also, it is in the RISE code so that we all can understand our uniqueness and know besides inspired action, besides in intuitional action, I have, we all have specific quantum mechanics that also determine our reality, such as projectors are invited, such as generators are in response, such as manifestors in form, and there's more and more. But we want to understand some of that because when we go against it, we're going against our code, we're going against our true nature, and we're going against our avatar self that we up are upgrading consistently, but we do have that suit. We do have that imprint. So this is the imprint of you in this field. And so we encourage you to explore and learn your cosmic human design. I assure you, it is impacting people on a major level. Every day of my life, I'm witnessing the greatness of this uniqueness and the superior technology that is shown in this cosmic human design chart. So be inspired, embody your manifestations, take intuitive inspired actions towards your manifestations and learn about your cosmic human design. Just some of the things that will be at the I Am Limitless event that is in the RISE code itself, book that, that you can now see gather. And that is your manifestation moment for today.